Hello again, a very warm welcome to each and every one of you. My name is Danny Kay. I'm here today with a bottle of Springbank 15 year old Rumwood. This is released in 2019, bottled at cask strength, which is 51% fully matured in rum casks and limited to 9,000 bottles. Springbank is an absolute red hot distillery at the moment. The most recent Springbank batch just dropped not too long ago. So I thought it'd be fitting after going through a bottle and a half of this to go through and run through um, a little bit of a video on it. Try to keep this relatively short and sharp. So without any further delay. Tropical nose, bananas. Pineapples, there's pineapple juice, but it's almost like on the nose, an underripe pineapple almost. Citrus coming through now, which I would say lemon, rind, pith, juice, absolutely everything in that regards that comes through in the lemon. There's a lot that's going on in that regards because there's some toffee that comes through now and also. It's sugar, it's something between a white sugar and an icing sugar, or a, maybe not a frosting, but something along those lines. You, you kind of get the, the gist that I'm, that I'm kind of picking up here. There's some definite spice, a touch of black pepper that just is absolutely present. And at 51% for me, I would absolutely add some water to this I'll go through without some water to begin with and we take it from there. For me, this does need water because it comes in big hit. Citrus absolutely comes through to begin with now, as I already did mention. Pineapple is there herbs come through and there's a herb that I've never picked up in any other whiskey before that I get here marjoram there's some thyme but marjoram comes through which is something that I have in the pantry and admittedly not something that I use very often but familiar with the smell the taste and that absolutely comes through in the taste here as I said unusual in that regards but with Springbank you will pick up some things that you may not pick up in, in other whiskey that's for absolute sure I mentioned before it's very tropical that is still there towards the finish it becomes a little bit nutty the spice starts to starts to sort of take a backseat to that regards you've got toffee notes and vanilla that keep on coming through that is quite lovely. It needs some water for me, it absolutely does. So I will add what I would call a, um, a large drop or two. Give it a tiny bit of time just to get in there and look. The nose for me it's almost fruit salad now. There's a medley of fruit that comes through and stone fruits. So there are some peaches, and I'm going to say yellow flesh peaches that come through, and some apricots that are almost underripe apricots, is that I would describe that the way I would describe that. The water has absolutely helped this because, as I said, um, you're getting more, I'm able to pick up more fruits now with water that come through. I'll, I'll say that again. I'm able to pick up more fruits that come through now that I've added some water to this. The herbs are almost entirely gone. Coconut. That's coming through on that now. It's almost like bounty with milk chocolate. It's not dark chocolate, it's milk chocolate. So the bounty bars, coconut ruffs, 
which are absolutely phenomenal um, tasting chocolates, I'm getting that that comes through on this now. Pineapple juice that comes through. There are those stone fruits that I mentioned earlier. There's almost some bananas and also those, what are they, the candy bananas, you know, um, those lollies, the confectionery bananas. I, I don't know what they're called, right, but it is there. It is absolutely there because the sweetness are coming through. I think I did mention herbs have gone. In terms of the spices, that's almost taken a back seat in that regards as well. I'm not really picking up the pepper that I was before. This is an absolute fruit bomb now with not a lot of water that I added to that. Very, 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 very nice stuff. The finish, I would call it a medium to long. I'm going to take one more sip and um, see what happens there. This frosting in that now, it's almost like it is Christmas cake covered in a very thick layer of frosting. Um, and I'm not over exaggerating. It is absolutely present in that right now. Really sugary cake with fruit in it. It's almost like candied apricots, sultanas, all those sorts of things in that. Faintest hit of spice and very, very tropical that I mentioned earlier. In terms of finish, what I would say is medium to long to type finish for me. It's quite nice. Um, I really enjoy this. If I was to score it, I would give it a solid 90 out of 100. It could probably even push that, but that's essentially where I would, where I put it at, that mark, um, which is a fairly high mark, right? Very, very nice stuff. As I said, I thought it was timely with the um, recent Springbank batch relatively um, recently released. So once again, very much hope that you enjoyed the video. Very much appreciate the time that you've taken to watch the video. So thank you very much once again. Cheers to you.